All right, so today I'm just gonna quickly show you how to turn any photo into an SVG file or a stencil, uh, something usable in Cricut to create a t-shirt or sticker. Um, what I'm gonna do first is open up the website Rapid Resizer. Now there is a lot of other options for creating SVGs. Um, there's a few other apps, websites, I've tried a lot of them. I seem to get the best results with this one in particular. And I feel like a lot of the SVG files that I see uh, for sale, they look like they were created with this website. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is add my file from my photo library and I am doing this on an iPad Pro um, so it may be different for other people so I'm gonna use this same one I've done it a few times in the past and so right away it gives you just the line work uh, it's with this setting called edges um, the one that seems to work best for me and it's where I usually always end up going with it is adaptive and uh, pretty close to the dark edge and then bring the lower bar to soft and somewhere right around here is where I usually find the best results you can see that everything has got pretty good amount of detail I'd like to get some more detail out of Kelsey's face so I'm gonna go a little bit lighter be a little softer see so this is looking more like a gas mask now you still can't really see her hair right there so go a tiny bit darker it's kind of a pain sometimes um, So I'll usually stop somewhere around right here if I like what I see and I'll save a copy of it. So you just click and hold it to save it. And then if I want to, I'll go in and try and adjust it a few more times, see if I can get a better version. This one looks pretty cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and save this version of it too. And then I'll decide between the two. So now I'm going to go back to my images. So there's the original. And then here's the ones that I got. So this one, you know, it doesn't have a ton of definition right there this one ended up getting a lot more so I'm gonna go ahead and use this version it's a little bit shaky in some places where this one isn't but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and use this one so I'll just go and upload this straight into Cricut select from photo library and it's the last one I did and so now is where it gives you the option to clean it up. If I wanted to, I could get rid of some of this. We use the remove tool and just get a lot of these big chunks of white. So it's always a good sign if it selects a lot of stuff with one remove hit because that will make the weeding process a ton easier and another little secret to selecting all the white images is if you hit crop it'll show you what's left to get so I'm gonna really get a lot of these details I'm not gonna worry so much about the ones in the background
I literally didn't even know that you could move that until just now. So I'm going to get a few more of these details and then I'm not going to worry too much about it. So, go back here. All this other stuff I'm not going to worry about because it's just going to make it even more difficult to weed. I might get this highlight. Alright. So then, if you're using a desktop, you do not have this option, but if you are using a iPad or a mobile device go ahead and hit smooth each time it'll kind of take away some of the rough edges um, and then that's all it is so then once you save it I'm gonna save it real quick and then you have a usable image it's really that simple uh, I, you know didn't pay a dime for that it's a picture I took uh, about two years ago at the Denver zombie crawl um, you know and this would make a great Valentine's gift you could do this with anything um, like I said a lot of the SVG files that I see for sale look like they're created with this exact you know platform so uh, I hope this helped you guys out. It was a little longer than I wanted it to be, but I hope it got a lot of the information across to you guys. Uh, let me know if this helped you. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give me a like, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.